How's it going, Critter people? I hope you all are doing well. Uh, we are out with a different creator today, uh, Senza Tempo Kane Corso. Um, I've done a couple videos on her in the past, um, and in this video I thought it would be really interesting. It just really got my blood boiling because there's just so much ignorance spread throughout the world. So, uh, the title of her video is, Is Your Dog Scared or Manipulating You? So those of you who know me know it, it's going to be a good one. <laughs> a lot to explain, a lot to break down. Um, first things first, using this video under Fair Use Act for education, criticism, um, giving my point of view, um, trying to give the dog's voice and, and just challenge the, the ignorant views of thinking that a dog would manipulate you the way a human would. Um, I mean, I'm not, I mean, dogs are incredibly smart. I'm not saying it can't happen, but I mean, based on this dog's body language, I don't think this dog's manipulating anyone. I think this person is using that as an excuse because she's ignorant. She doesn't know what she's doing um, as far as dogs or dog behavior. You know, she is just like everybody else with one tool in their toolbox, you know, a hammer. You're going to view every problem as a nail. So she always blames the dogs for everything versus her ignorance. She just uses discipline for everything. So if you're interested and ready to get into that, then let's get started. Oh. Slip late. I'm not and a fan I've of And I've got slip Mad leads. Mortigan out here. And I've got Nerva. I, mean, I like that it's loose. I like that she doesn't have it um, locked at the really tight, um, at the end, like a lot of people do when they have a slip lead. Anna out here. And as you can see, she's Exciting very baby. happy. She's very excited. Tail up. She's wishing that she could play right now, but got her on leash. Um, Which can be kind of dangerous because if she wants to run and play with the dog, she could end up choking herself and, you know, running to the end of the leash and she could cause some damage to her trachea um, at the very least. So the the people that had her had mentioned that they thought that she was a very fearful dog um, and that she um, had fear issues. But um, I made the mistake of letting this dog off leash and I noticed that... I know, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm pausing it, but it's just my my pet peeve of having cropped ears and dog tails, just unnecessary, let the dogs be natural. It's just, you know, it's just irritating. She got stubborn on me. Oh, there's that word, stubborn. This lady likes to use that a lot. When I hear anybody call a dog stubborn or an animal stubborn, I automatically know that person doesn't know what they're talking about. And the person... You know, if somebody says, oh, this is a stupid dog, I automatically think stupid human. So the person is ignorant, doesn't know what they're doing. So they want to call the dog stubborn, even though the dog is telling them exactly what they need to know in order to be able to work with this dog. But they're stubborn. They don't want to learn. They don't want to actually listen to the dog. They want the dog to listen to them and they can do whatever they want. So. And she would do this thing where she would go and run into the um, woods and, and kind of stare at me. And then she would try to get like this fearful look on her face. I don't but, think dog, dogs don't think that way. They don't think, geez, Louise, you really think that dogs are going to manipulate their facial structure to look sad or scared? We were just playing, and we would literally go from playing, she would come out, she would play with me, and then she would go and run in the woods and... and... Well, apparently it's for a reason. Dogs don't do nothing, don't do anything for no reason. You may think of it, that's your filter and your, the way you see it, that you were just playing, but clearly the dog saw it as something different. I always believe the dog, they don't stubborn. lie. And what I, what I found was that Ouch. this dog, Ouch. um, basically, um... No, I don't have a problem teaching this dog to be on leash with other dogs. I'm just saying that it can be dangerous. I would rather have her on a harness than if she did pull, it wouldn't be that big of a deal. Um, you could also teach her to give into pressure that way, but that's just me. Uses, um, how could I say, like, she manipulates, um, by trying to basically get people to feel sorry for her that is just malarkey okay that is just yeah my my 80 year old uh inner old lady dialogue there um that is absolutely nonsense and that dogs do not think that way dogs are still incredibly smart they don't think they do what works but so if she learns that if i go over here to the woods and stare at you at a distance for however long then you leave me alone or if you're scaring me 
and I run to the woods, you stop scaring me, I come back out, you play, you're nicer. As soon as you scare me or do something that scares me, I'm going to run away again. They're going to practice that behavior to get more of what they want. And she basically will act scared as a way of manipulating. That yeah, is for... just the dumbest thing I've ever heard. <sighs> Dogs do not act scared to manipulate you. They act scared because they are scared. If you think she's manipulating, then that means that you're a dummy and you're ignorant and you want to make an excuse as to, oh no, it's okay, she's manipulating you. That means I can do whatever the hell I want to. I can scare her, I can correct her, I can do all this nonsense with my ignorant brain, human brain, because I can do no wrong, and I'm just gonna just make an excuse and say, no, she's not scared, it's not hurting her. God, I hate it when people say that. You know, oh, I'm not hurting her, she's being melodramatic, she's being dramatic, she's, she's manipulating. Dog, dogs don't think that way, only humans do. The only one manipulating people is you. Bruh. And, um, and it's not, it's, it's not actually a foreign, um, concept to me. Um, I bet also, a lot of her dogs also will chew on wood, which I think is not a good idea because they ingest it. They can ingest it. It can cause, you know, blockages and other problems. Even if they chew on wood their whole life for 20 years and they never have a problem. Okay. It can happen. It's just not good for them to ingest that. They should have, you know, they should have appropriate chews and it can also teach them to chew on other things like other trees that you don't want them to chew on i've actually so seen confusing. it before and so that's you know look at that structure look and at that she hears so much more about structure and the dog's you know confirmation all this i mean she's a breeder so she has that kind of filter in her mind she cares more about that than what is actually going on in the dog's mind than actually learning up to date how the simplest you know of how dogs actually think and how they do not manipulate they do not they can feel jealousy, but they don't feel guilt. They can feel jealousy just like a young kid, a four-year-old, can feel jealousy that their brother Timmy got an ice cream cone and they didn't, or that they finished their ice cream cone and Timmy still has his. But if they go and steal Timmy's and he starts crying, they're not going to feel guilt over him. They're going to be happy they have their ice cream cone. But at maybe seven years old, they're, they're going to feel maybe a little guilty. I don't know the age of children and, and the way their, their brain um, develops, so forgive me if I have the ages wrong. Fantastic dogs structure don't care. of this dog, you guys rock solid so anyway so i kind of noticed it crap about her dropped the leash for a minute there and um and so um like for example um she was in the house and you know we were playing or whatever but then i would ask her to do something and then she would try to act like she was scared so when you ask you don't ask you tell them you know but Dista, get over here now move it hurry blah 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 you know or like stay blah 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 you know you're always just barking orders at everyone so I trust the dog. The dog was not trying to act scared. The dog was scared. But I knew that logically there was no way that she was scared because there's no reason for her to be scared. You're just an idiot, okay? Because you don't want to believe that you're scaring your dogs or you're hurting your dogs, but you are. But nobody wants to believe it. Nobody wants to believe that they follow Dog Daddy or Caesar Milan that they're hurting their dogs. I mean, I get it, but it doesn't make any difference. The dog doesn't care what you think or what you try. They care what you do. So if you think you're not being, there's no logical reason in your brain for the dog to be scared. The dog says otherwise. But do you listen to the dog? No. So I knew that it wasn't real. And so instead of allowing her so to kind of like do what she wants and do that whole thing, I just put a leash on her and brought her outside to go to the bathroom. And when she tried to do it to me in the kennel, good girl, because I did put her in the kennel. Um, I put her in the kennel overnight. And the first time I went to get her out of the kennel, she sat in the back of the kennel, tried to act scared. Aww. So She's not acting, you moron. <sighs> Stop trying to make an excuse for your ignorance. Take accountability. Learn. What I did is I put the leash on her. I you pulled her out. Her out. Yep. Not aggressively. Um, not emotionally. Say not aggressively. Not emotionally. You know, Celia can do that all day, all day long. We know that you drug her out, choking her with the slip lead. Because you couldn't get her out otherwise. Lovely. Only I just put it on. I, I pulled her out in one quick motion. And and then I walked out with her. And what I noticed, I don't which what will happen say. with dogs that try that, is they'll kind of, they'll try to look up at you and get really like, um, they'll, they'll try to act afraid of you in that moment. And it's the it's theater, right? And so what I you do... 
moron. I'm like, I'm sorry for cursing, but like, Jesus, woman, you are the only one manipulating. This is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Dogs are not theatrical. They are not this. People put those labels on dogs because we are stupid and we don't want to realize that we are the ones who are not, that the dogs are smarter than us. Golly. I just flat out ignored her, so I didn't pay any attention to her. I let her yeah learn do helplessness. Her She's going to develop learned helplessness. You're like Joel. You don't care what they want. You don't care what they think. It's easy for you to go on living. You know you don't have any 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 guilt on your conscience because oh if I don't see that I hurt them if I don't think I'm hurting them or scaring them then okay then it must not be true. Song and dance, and I kept walking and I kept doing my thing, and then when she peed and she pooped, I gave her affection. Because I want her to know, good girl. You can good do girl. all that without the dragging and other nonsense. Good girl, good girl. That she's a good girl for going to the bathroom. Good girl. Yes, you are. And then now that she's gone, we're gonna immediately take our little butts back inside. But, um, but anyway, but it was important. Um, and I don't mean like right now we're gonna take her butt inside, but I mean like yesterday. And so it's really important to recognize that dogs are capable of manipulation. No, they are not. I'm not going to say that as in like an absolute, but in the case she's talking about, I mean, because who knows? There is always a possibility of, of a dog, you know, who can learn to, they can learn to play the system, you know? I mean, if they, they again, if they learn certain behaviors or if they learn that, oh, if you call me, but I don't come to you, uh, I get to stay outside longer, then they're going to you know, learn that. If your dog is used to going to the park, and this one day you're taking them to the vet, but you say the word car, and they know, oh, car means fun, then you can say car, and then you take them to the vet. Next time, they're going to assume, you know, oh, last time I was in the car, I went to the vet, and they don't want to go in the car anymore. There's, um, unfortunately, there's a lot of people out there that are trying to make it seem like dogs are much dumber um, and that they're not capable of nuance or manipulation um, or playing games. Playing games and whatnot. No, that's just you so you can make an excuse for your own ignorance. I'm Like I said, I'm not saying that dogs are, are dumb enough that they cannot do that, but their brain doesn't work that way. They, I mean, can they learn to, uh, I don't know, limp or practice certain behaviors to get more of things that they want? Sure. But acting scared and putting on a face and playing a game, that's not how they work. You know, you you can go ahead and put that filter on it so you don't have to... You can put the blinders on so you don't think that you're hurting your animals, but it doesn't mean that you're not. ...things with you, and they absolutely are, um, and they can use various different methods, but this particular dog decided that she was going to try to use... Um, you know, um, fear and sadness and stuff like that is a way of manipulating. You're but this an dog idiot. has You no are fear. just so full of it. Your this dog is not, um, is not like that at all. But she did try that with me, and I quickly realized who it was, and I, I just ignored it. And there are some behaviors that you can ignore, and there are some behaviors that you should not ignore. That is a behavior that you should ignore. And the I reason disagree. I think that's very dangerous. I mean, she's no like she calls herself a trainer. You know, she's trained other dogs, but she's no educated trainer, clearly, if you even listen to her for two seconds. Um, and she's spreading this this information, just like Joel, you know, spreading information about, you know, you should just ignore this and this and that. And it's like, okay. I mean, if anybody's just going to listen to that at face value, then they're just as dumb as she is. Why is because if I would have pet her or done anything to try to reassure her, that would have rewarded her manipulation she and that's where it shows her ignorance that she doesn't know what she's talking about you cannot reinforce fear you can reinforce a behavior but the fear itself reassuring her how about you know instead of just throwing a leash essentially a noose around her neck inside the kennel uh, to drag her out you can sit next to her by the kennel you can you can call her out with treats let her know that you know i'm not a scary thing we're actually bond with her and not just correct her not see it as manipulation and you're just going to ignore it you don't reinforce the actual fear i've assumed that she had me wrapped around her finger no she doesn't she probably would have even like been that. more um dramatic and i wouldn't have put it past her to you know um i've seen dogs that are like that and, and you'll you know, the more you try to kind of console them, the more dramatic they get. And they'll even, like, shake and do things like that. And it, it's just drama. And Jesus. Okay, so this person was never loved as a child. Okay, I get it.
<sighs> just ignorance. You can put your blinders on. You can see that what you're doing is, you know, you can you can forget the fact that you're uneducated. You don't know what you're talking about. You're spreading dangerous lies and misinformation. Okay, go ahead and keep your blinders on. If you ignore them and you completely do your own thing and, you know, you pet them when, they, when, when they're good, but you don't pet them when they're acting that way, um, they will literally come out of it. They will, they will well, stop yeah, acting. because they're going to be choked and drug along if they don't. You're just, they're going to do it anyway. So eventually, even the crying kid, if you just leave them to cry it out, they will self-soothe. There's nothing wrong with you going in and helping to comfort them and moving through that process. That way. Dogs and, are not um, humans, though. They and don't have as many complex emotions as humans do. be a problem. So, you know, just something to think about that there are ways that dogs can manipulate and, you know, acting afraid, acting like, like, you know, they are too scared to do something. Um, you know, there's a lot of... That's an excuse for ignorant people to use, specifically when they are in training. Um, so that way they can just keep their blinders on to their ignorance and just, you know, keep doing whatever they want to do. They don't have to learn. There's a lot of ways that they um, can do that. But as you can see, the way she's trying to jerk me around and, you know, whenever I get onto her and I and I pull back and she's not... You know, she's not acting like, oh, my God, what did you do? Why mm -hmm. did you pull yeah. on my neck? Like, I you know. hate it more than anything when people try to use that little crybaby voice as if the dog is saying that. You know, I would love to throw a rope around her neck and drag her around the yard and throw her into something that makes her scared and tell her, oh, shut up. Stop being scared. You're just being a baby. Blah, blah, blah. You know, God, it just irritates me so much. I feel bad for all the animals in her care. She's, she's not reacting... Um, in a fearful way to things that a fearful dog would react in. You don't know anything anyway. In she's, fear. We're not saying that she's fearful to everything. I mean, maybe she got over it. Learned helplessness. Like, well, I'm going to be here anyway. Might as well make the best out of it. I don't know. And the way she's trying to pull me around, you see how I kind of yanked her back a bit, brought her back to me. Don't do that. She didn't turn around with hurt feelings and look at me like, oh my God, you pulled me. You know what I mean? She, she's, she's a tough dog. And, and you are a moron and spreading ignorance and lies. And so, um, and so anyway, so it's, it's a, it's an experience thing. Like you really have to have a lot of years in training dogs and in this breed to kind of recognize everything that they're capable of doing. No, you should have, there's that experience in training. She has one year of experience. 25 times she's done the same thing over and over and over and over again she hasn't learned whereas i may have only been doing this actually professionally actually certified actually educated i've been doing this for eight years professionally training my own dog for 12 and i have all that experience once because i have changed and i have gotten better and i have i've you know improved my training so it benefits the dog whatever you want to believe lady um, but, um, but anyway, but, you know, she, she's really a good dog. See that structure? Don't care. Reese and I were talking about it, and, and we are going to, um, so she just got, well, we just got a co-owned male, this beautiful Formentino male that so far we've named. She's kind of a little independent, I've noticed. Like, I think it's because she's, yeah, there we go. Um, I think it's because she, um. Because she doesn't have Quit. a bond with you. You will stop that. No. Yeah. So she's over uh, here trying to... A real tough person. Oh, yeah, you, you choked your dog and pointed your finger and said no. Wow. Real impressive. I'm being sarcastic for anybody who doesn't realize. All of her dogs are independent. And I say that with quotation marks because they don't have a bond with her. Just ridiculous push me around a bit definitely not a weak dog come here she's not trying to push you around she's trying to play and she ignores you because she doesn't care about you she knows that you know as little as the next guy and she's playing with her doggy friends who know how to read her more than you do and who don't try to manipulate the situation by saying she's manipulating um <clears throat> quit you done knocked the thought right out of my brain you better cut it out Jeez. um dang Completely forgot what I was what I was gonna say. 
So she was yanking me around. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's the dog's uh, fault. Everything blames on the dog. She's just like Tara, the horse person, the horse lady who rides horses. She's just like Tara. Everybody blows smoke up her ass saying, you know, oh, you're great. You're amazing. You know this. You know that. She doesn't know squat. But, yeah, everybody's going to come after me. Um, hold on a minute. Okay, sorry about that. I was determined to figure out what I was talking about because I knew it was important. She also fixed her leash placement. Did you see how she was doing that earlier? The tug, tug, tug. Her tail is now lowered. The leash placement is really high behind the head, so she has more control, more pain compliance. So, um, the dog what I've noticed about this female now. is that she's passed hands. Um, she went from the breeder to another family that kind of let her um, kind Poor of make her thing. own decisions. Like, they would Poor ask her thing. if she wanted to do, like, they would ask her to come outside and then, but she wasn't on leash. And so when she wouldn't come, then they would just kind of, like, she didn't, they would just accept the fact that she didn't come. Ouch. Which is a stubbornness thing. So she's kind no, of. No, it's not. It is not stubbornness. Ignorant. <laughs> If she doesn't come, it's because they did not teach her to come off leash. That takes practice and time. Not just sending your dog after her to correct her. Good grief. To getting her way, and she's a little disrespectful. So the way no, she's, she's not. She is not disrespectful. You are the most disrespectful person I have ever seen. You don't care about these animals. You care about what you want. Trying to yank me around. She's um, trying to play with other dogs because you have them out. You cause the situation. You're not going to take any accountability for it. You put everything on everything else in the world. But yet you want to sit here with your blinders on and, and have everybody be nice to you because if they tell you the truth, then you're just going to, you know, block them or have some kind of nasty refute for them or whatever. Stuff like that. It's disrespectful. Um, no, you're disrespectful. And so what I did placement... So that she can't do that to me anymore. Because there's more pain um, I try not more to, nerves. like, um, necessarily amp up Ouch. on a dog Ouch. very quickly. God, her handling is so rough. Even just pulling the skin down. You have to build some trust first. But you don't I don't have know if you any can tell, but I fixed dog. my collar placement here by pulling. Look how rough she is with this dog. Oh, my God. You know, the neck down. There's a Choke. little bit of dewlap underneath there that I could pull through, but I'm, I'm filming. It's a little hard to do. And, um, and so you see here, see that look Real on her face? There's a, there's a little bit of a, of a, you know, the fun is over. So here, see how it kind of slipped down? So that's because my collar placement's not Jesus correct. Jesus, woman. So I'm going to try to pull this down Yay. all around here. All of this is correction while choking the dog. Good there we go, grief. so I can maintain that. <sighs> so we're going to end that there. Um, I got way more animated than i thought i would but god this is just when i hear people just putting human thoughts and concepts such as manipulation even though that's exactly what she's doing to you the viewer it just, and she puts it on the dog and it just excuses all of her ignorance and her behavior it just bothers me to no end that's why i do these to try to give these dogs a voice this dog is not this dog is not manipulating anyone she is so anyway, I hope you got something out of that. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I hope you and your little critters are doing well. Go give them some kind of special loving for me. Say howdy do for me. And until next time, stay positive.